Hey, what is up, YouTube? Murder sending me here, coming at you guys with the DLC of Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This is the Resolution map pack, the first map pack to come out besides the season pass with the Nuketown uh, 2025 zombies. Um, so basically, what this is is I'm going to be going over all of the four DLC Xbox Live um, maps for you guys for online. And, um, so, the f first map that we're starting out here is Downhill. So this, right out of the gate, reminded me of Summit from, uh, what is that, uh, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, one of the, or Black Ops 1, one of the snowy maps. It was pretty cool, actually. Um, I was really looking forward to the, uh, uh, some sort of big map or some sort of, I don't know, like, something that could really, like, a bigger map, because Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2 wasn't so bad, but there's a lot of close quarters maps, or a lot of just, like, things in the way, not really too much open area, um, so I was, I was kind of hoping that we'd get a little bit, uh, of open area for that, but sadly, with the four maps, none of them meet that standards, like, I was, I was thinking, like, you know, Modern Warfare 2, the, the, wow, wow, wow man, what is that map? The good sniping one that everybody would snipe on. The, uh... Wasteland! That's what it was. Uh, the sniping one with the little cave or whatever in the middle. But, uh... So this is just my first time that I'm running through, um... Running through the map. And so I had no idea where I was going. I was just looking around, showing you guys the entire map. Uh, so the next clip we're going on is the next... It looks like we're running into Mirage, it looks like. Mirage? Mirage? I don't know. The theme with the, uh, resolution map packs seem to be some sort of like Chinese thing because the zombies resolution uh, dare rise or something like that something that's not Darius it's day rise some some weird thing like that it's Chinese too so they had some weird Chinese thing theme going on with the map packs or with the resolution map pack this uh, map pack actually, or this map Mirage looks like a, it's pretty much just a Chinatown or some sort of maybe, it takes place in China, I mean that's what it says in the beginning, they have some funny posters on the wall as you can see right there, but they, it, the, basically what this is is just a town, but it totally just got taken out by some sort of sandstorm, because you can see all these different like, all these different huts, that you're even like a dried out pool, and some sort of, I don't know, like building, or there's this weird statue in the middle of I guess it's supposed to be some sort of famous emperor or something like that. That I thought was actually pretty cool. I was staring at it for a while. Every map pack also has some sort of bar area. That I also thought that was kind of interesting uh, with the difference between all of the, the four map packs. It wasn't uh, th this one, you know, it was okay. Uh, it, like It's pretty much just like all the other maps. Close quarters, stuff in the way, maybe some good flanking routes from the sides behind the cars and stuff. Nothing really too, um, you know, special about these maps, in my opinion. I know that the good the, that the DLC maps in the past and the Call of Duty in general is never a hundred percent amazing or amazing maps. Or you might get one out of every set of two map packs, but that's never, you know, that's that's very rare that you'll get a good, like a legitimately good map out of DLC map packs. But for DLC map packs, I have to say these aren't bad. I haven't gone online yet, um, I'll be doing some live feed videos for you guys about what these maps are going to be online. In my opinion, the best one that's going to be is Hydra, which you'll see coming up next. Uh, we just passed that middle statue as you saw there, running around the pool. Again, just close quarters, stuff in the way to hide behind, you know, shotgun, noob tube, typical map for those kind of players. So I would recommend as a whole definitely getting this DLC for Call of Duty Black Ops 2, especially the Zombies map. It's really insane for those good Zombies players. For the newer Zombies players, I'd wait until you master the Transit and the uh, the three map packs for that first um, before you get the DLC uh, Zombies map and start getting into that. So we're finally, uh, thirdly, we're coming up onto our map Hydro, which is actually, it takes place as, as a, uh, a dam. You're at the bottom of some sort of like riverbank or dam. You can see th that's the metal refinery in there. Uh, in the picture on the outside, you can see there real quick. What I really like about this map, um, or what I didn't like about this map, I should say, it started out in the beginning. I, I was thinking, man, this map is going to be like one of those close quarters, what we just saw on the different perspective map. Because as you can see, I run over to the edge here, and I'm thinking, oh my god, I can already see the, end of the other end of the map. This is going to be one of those 
annoying close quarters maps that I'm not going to really have too lot of fun in. But but what I really thought was interesting actually about this map is that uh, it has, like I said earlier, it has this entire underwater thing that I thought was really well done uh, with this map. It really, I mean, it started off with some, uh, you know, you look at it, it's kind of small, some more things in the way. Not really thinking, you know, this is going to be too much of a map, you know, kind of like a ripoff of, uh, what was that, Cliffside from the... Um, Call of Duty 5, I don't know if you remember that map, it kind of reminded me a little bit about that. But you can see a little bit here, this underwater uh, thing. It's not like the whole map isn't have an underground section, uh, but it does have a, you know, a good portion of it that I think, you know, a lot of battling might go down down there. Uh, like I said, I didn't go online yet, so I can't get back to you guys, or I can't give you uh, that for sure. But I would imagine it would be cool. And you actually fall for a while. They did hire the death barrier, so you can't like touch the water like you could on uh, like Yemen or some maps like that. So that was kind of disappointing. But overall, uh, out of all the DLC maps, it really you know it was it was a good one. Um, like I said, DLC maps usually you don't want your hopes too high unless it, unless you're going for like the zombies map. Obviously, that's like the only thing you care about uh, if you're like me <laughs> and you're going for the zombies map. But I have to say, what was really interesting about the whole DLC concept this time. Is they had medium maps, um, not nothing too special, other than you know cargo, I guess, or not cargo. What is this one? Um, hydro. So uh, the uh, the gun, that's what it is. <clears throat> the peacekeeper, as you can, I didn't really talk about this too much, uh, so I'll touch on that a little bit right now as we're going through this final map here. Um, the peacekeeper is actually a very overpowered gun, from what I've heard. I haven't actually tested it out online. I'm going to be going. Um, going to test that out for you guys right after this I'll make a video for you guys to see how that turns out so we are finally going up to our final clip here on the final map of the DLC for uh, resurrection or revolution something like that revolution I don't know whatever <clears throat> grind that's what it is and you know I gotta say this this map uh, it, it looks like it'd be like the best Tony Hawk map I, I honestly I got I gotta give it to him best Tony Hawk map, but if you look at this from a COD standpoint, this really isn't gonna be your best um, best map, and I'm gonna show you guys why here in a second as I'm going through my first rundown here. This is actually the first time I've even seen all these maps as well with you guys, so I just decided to make a quick little tutorial for you guys or not tutorial, a little walkthrough in case you don't know if you want to go buy the DLC or not, or if you just want to see what the maps are, or you have versus the DLC and you just want to see a little bit about the map. Either way, um, I highly recommend getting it, obviously, because you get these, you know, the pretty cool maps. Nothing to write home about, but pretty cool maps. But, uh, like I said, amazing map for, you know, if you were doing a Tony Hawk thing. I mean, they got amazing pipes and half pipes and everything, but from a COD standpoint, I don't feel like this would be a good map. The reason being is there's a bunch of high places that people can like snipe at or lay down around corners or there's a lot of just things in the way that people could cover at with shotguns. And I feel like this is like the ultimate KSG map. Like this is like where the people are going to be going for their diamond shotguns. Like I feel like this is that type of map. But you know, like I said, I haven't been online so this that's just my personal opinion and I'll definitely give you guys a re, uh, a re video on after I get that uh, I get my gameplay going on up there but uh, so that this has been the um, all f how many have there been five no four all four DLC maps for resolution uh, revolution Re I think it's revolution I'm gonna go with that one we're gonna go with revolution all four maps of revolution um, like I said if I had to give this map pack a rating out of ten yeah I'd give it about a down all five it, it was it was okay so this has been it, and I uh, hope to see you guys in my next video. Thanks.